Okay, so we are against uh, Mr. Bear here, who is a tyrant, so we just have to GG him. Not like we didn't plan to. And uh, maybe we want to uh, go easy some of these cards. Just to mulligan into something interesting. I think we're going to kick the Arbalest. Okay. <clears throat> There's a dumb ship. I think we might just start with the Lyrian Cavalry For the queen! in the back. Small blood bear. Yeah. Show me what flows in your hands. Uh, a little annoying. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much we're gonna push him. We can play a Sintry on Spellweaver. It can be played anywhere. Maybe we're gonna play it in the back. Things okay? Helping hand? I don't know. Not oh, come on! I think we need to be a little bit careful with our bronzes. Maybe do an Arethusa. But, yeah. Uh, we need at least one bronze for hand salt. But now, Red Moon 93. He's passing? Okay. Now we have to play. But how do we do that? <clears throat> well, it's pretty damn easy, isn't it? It should be pretty damn easy. But it's a pretty... It's a very awkward situation. So if he can keep the Kedvan Revenant, that would be ideal. I can play the Visigota, but he's not gonna play a card, so it's gonna be a 6. 6 plus 4... Uh, at that point, we're gonna be at 11. And we can't kill Sabrina. Prince Willem is... is RNG. It can be good RNG, but it can be... Uh, pretty bad RNG. I think playing Prince Willem is still kinda acceptable. <clears throat> but do I still play Visigota? I think we have to. We gotta play something here. Critical thinking. The sign of a healthy mother. Okay, that's the first move. Now we gotta do nine points. So we can play a reinforced trebuchet. Uh, yeah, it has one extra point. Is it good enough? I think is I don't want to play the Cadman Revenant, so I think we need the Prince Willem here. A king faces difficult choices. Oh, that's good. Why not, like? You sure as shit need me. That is just fine. Then we can play a uh, reinforced trebuchet, and we're good. Just pass the Rooney. All right. <clears throat> Obviously, we are not playing a card, and uh, we gotta be careful with this Captain Revenant. Hmm. These are good cards. Okay, let's pass. Go to a long round three. As long as we then don't get a Cadman Revenant, we are pretty damn good. Uh, technically, we can use a Lyra and Arbalest as well, but... Uh, and yeah, it would be nice to get some gold. Okay, he's not really believing in his discard power. That's probably not as good. Okay, one of them have, has to go for sure. And considering that uh, Cat and Revenant is already back, and uh, we are holding the worst card in our deck, we have to just kick this. Oh, that's actually excellent! Ooh. Uh, we can lock that, but he probably has the Cultist. Which is just damn fucking annoying. Um, let's just start with the botchling. The question is, how do we continue here? I can copy Valyrian Arbalest. The then we can get at even more Arbalests. And I got a lot of orders. 
So that could be good. And this guy is dying now. Also, we can start playing the Cadman Revenants as well. Which is a little silly. But in a way, it's kind of acceptable. Yeah, let's play the Cadman Revenants. So we kill that. That's nice. So we transform. Obviously. He's gonna kill one of them, but he's actually giving me targets for the Kedlin Revenants. Uh, sure. He actually doesn't give a damn about the Pals getting owned, which is excellent. That's exactly what I want. Uh, but it's still not the best. I think we gotta play Queen Adala. And uh, just the Lyrian Arbalest. We want to kill Heimane Flaminica uh, next turn. Although, yeah, we want to play Queen Adala in the back. My great Copy that. Great and uh, we obviously kill the Skulls. Oh, uh, that's not the best. Okay. Uh, that can get boosted. Hitting this is not good because we're going to waste the damage. When that takes damage, damage random in by two. Oh, why? Whoa, look at that! Oh, come on! One activate. Sure. Now we can technically play uh, Sabrina Glasovic, although we can also. With something like kill Flaminica. Oh, actually, that doesn't work. Well, we can lock Flaminica. Also, we can lock Blue Boy Lugos. Whatever that takes damage, random enemy also takes damage. So, we don't really need to lock that currently. I just want to establish some value generation. Uh, let's play the other Lyrian Arbalest, and we're just gonna keep a charge. I didn't uh, transfer my Lubbockin, uh yet. We plan to kill Flaminica, or maybe blow up uh, Sabrina in the front. I think that's about them time to do that. So we play Sabrina. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. We kill her. Overturn! And of course we need to finish off uh, Flaminica. Then we transform. Uh, we can take his... Our alt hunts now. If you really want to. We can also shut down the demon ship. Again, doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe we just want to get out. Well, we can play Yennefer. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Uh, anything needs to die right now. Apparently, we're just good. <laughs> GG. So we kick that. We cannot use the Arthusa Adept here. Maybe we kick Reinforced Trebuchet. <clears throat> Swim's chair. Oh, he has a smuggler. And we cannot shut down the smuggler. It seems like he has a finisher deck. Maybe do a uh, Vin <coughs> Vinham Vatre as a start. Okay, he just really wants me to pass, like 
yesterday. <laughs> At least we can't leave that up. Well, I can't pass right now. I would, though. If I could, I would. <clears throat> Double hollow! Holy crap. What? If I need more reasons to pass, I got it. <sighs> Peace with humans, abide us. Yeah, I can't really leave up six point. Uh, well, he already got. Well, he only got. He only only has two. He he got two boosts on the Brihi Dragoon and one on Defender. So he only has three boost in hand, and he's gonna get two more when I pass. <clears throat> but this is ridiculously annoying. That regeneration is one thing, yeah. He's just gonna... yeah, that's kind of what I expected. But it's, he's gonna be a long run free. And, uh... I guess he has these dwarfs. But he played three value generators. Four value generators. But can he really beat me in a long round? We shall see. If he can beat me in a long round, I guess uh, that this game is his. Okay. Uh, I don't really want... I don't really want the Aratusa. And we got a copy of Delirium Cavalry in the deck. And uh, so we have, so do we have a copy of the Kedron Revenant. Worst case scenario, we throw back the cavalry and we get the other uh, Kedveni. We can also throw back the Trebuchet, technically. It's a little safer, but let's just go with that. <clears throat> Royal Decree starts getting out the boar. Oh boy. <clears throat> I guess we can answer with a botchling. When botchling takes damage, he doesn't care. Uh, so let's go botchling in the back. Can he finish it off? Follow me this way. Apparently he can. I do dislike the boar and the botchling. These are just <clears throat> must-have cards in your deck. They're powerful and they're interesting, but I don't think the boar needs to heal when it goes back, and the botchling doesn't need to heal when it transforms. Other than that, I'm cool with them. So we can technically kill the tree and boar if this stays alive. Not true, of course. This boar is no. gonna go to five. Asana! Can I still do it though? So I can get out a, a mage, but then at point, we, we're gonna be at uh, uh, 2 and 1, but then I play this, that deals 2 damage, and we're gonna be at, because this is a mage, it's gonna be at 3 and 2, and plus 2 damage, so that seems pretty good to me. So we get out one extra spell weaver. And we play Sheila. No interest in politics. Hitting the boar. And now we can finish off the boar. Uh, probably the 8th one should keep the charge. He passed. Okay. Oh fuck, I'm dumb. Am I? What is he doing, by the way? Okay, let's pass. I didn't even realize 
that he actually fought against me round two. And now he's down three cards. Admittedly, I'm down a hero power, but... Odd move. It just made no sense. It didn't even occur to me that he would do such a thing. Okay. We have some good cards in there. Yep. Uh, maybe we're gonna trade Illyrian Cavalry for just anything. And we can start with that. God save the so he's down three cards. Very unusual way to push. What about this swim chair guy? Any relation to swim? Doubtful. Uh, we can play an Arbalest in the front. It's better if he uh, uses up some removal. Hey, Sursa. I don't know what I want to do with this uh, two shot. I think we might just keep it. Actually, we can set up uh, uh, a Cadman Revenant in the front, or at very least an Aquist. So we kind of, yeah, it's not risky now. Although if he's gonna kill something, if he's gonna kill the guy in the back. Go with the trebuchet. Um. He might be able to do 2 or 3 damage, but not 4, and most likely not 5. Oh crap, destroy the highest unit. <clears throat> what a beast. Now, we probably have to establish the Kedvan Revenant sooner rather than later. We're just gonna set up some targets. Uh, let's lose that guy. Now, do we want to get at the random gold card? Actually, that could be tricky because if we get Queen Adala, not good. Maybe do Vernon Roche first. The North, Tamaria. Ah. Uh, Sure, that's in the map. In the back as well. Uh, we prioritize the Revenant. And a little bit the Arbalest. The Arbalest can shoot once. But do I want to shoot once? I don't know. If anything, I would like to kill Vernon Roche. <laughs> I can get his Sursa. I don't know what I'm even doing here. Hey, Chidri, what's up? Maybe do Prince Willem in the back. A king faces difficult choices. You crossed the wrong sorceress. <clears throat> How crazy! <clears throat> Jennifer is certainly not gonna be the best here. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, we can still bring them in the back. Once I can use that up late. Last. 
and turn. Like that. With that, <clears throat> I can get one point here. Actually, do I wanna get a seven point with Ida? Let's let's do that. Then we're just gonna use the Dolbatano Archer target. Start working on that. Gee. I've been reading a book called Soldiers, Diplomacy and Statecraft. Alright. Uh, GG.